What's up guys, Miserable Jiu-Jitsu here, we've got Shiro back, the happiest UK in the world. <laughs> We're going to do a little Japanese necktie, off the cradle, uh, it's just something we just did in the wrestling class, we did a snap down, and I'm like, hey, we could turn the guy over like this, and I, it kind of occurred to me that we could turn this into a Japanese necktie. So what it's going to look like is this, is Shiro comes to kind of turtle facing me, here. Sometimes we end up turtle, whether it's here, or he puts the leg up, if he puts the leg up, if it's easier and easier, I'm going to do this. There's my Japanese necktie. If we go this way, push the leg up, cradle, turn over, trap. Okay, so it's a Japanese necktie variation. I'm trapping the, the kind of the other leg than is conventional when we attack this from half guard, but we're using a cradle to turn them over. Okay, so the turnover from the um, leg up position can happen anytime you snap a guy down and they end up kind of here or they end up here or even sometimes you can get it from here all right but it's harder to cradle someone when their knees on the ground like that because i want to bring the knee and the head kind of close together especially if i have shorter arms okay so what i'm looking for if we turn all the way around all the way around is this leg to come up and i'm in my front headlock now if i can wrap and punch my arm deeper, I'm able to cradle. And now I'm going to turn the corner and I'm going to put him on his shoulder, turning him over onto his side. Boom. Okay? From here, I'm just spin a little bit. Spin, spin, spin. I'm going to trap either the top or the bottom leg. Really doesn't matter to me if I can trap the bottom leg. Okay? It's going to work just as effectively as trapping the top leg. Because what I want to do later is compress him. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to take out the cradle and find my headlock grip. Okay, and whichever grip that you like to choke, you can take S grip, game or I don't care. And now I'm going to put my stomach on the back of his head. From here, trapping his leg, keeps him folded, I'm going to pull to me as I hit him. Okay, and I've seen quite a few discussions recently online, Facebook and Reddit and whatnot. Is that a crank or a choke? I don't care. Guy tapped, all right? He'll probably go to sleep and wake up with a sore neck. It doesn't matter to me, you know, whether it's a choke or a crank, okay? It's never gonna be a 100% crank. You're always gonna choke him, okay? At least a bit, and he'll tap long before his neck breaks, okay? Um, let's try from a different angle. So he steps up, I hit my cradle, and then I bail him over with it. Thank you very much. Stepping in, trapping the leg, and now I'm going to change my grip and I'm going to dive over the top, okay? Now it's very important I don't lose the legs here because he's going to go, I can do something different, okay? Maybe he spins out, maybe I hold on, maybe I switch out the condo, it doesn't matter. He falls back on his side, okay? It's important that I keep this leg trapped and then I can hip in and there's a nice pop from Shiro's neck. So I know it's definitely at least a little bit of a neck crank. So thank you very much. Thank you to Shiro. He always looks sad at the end of the videos. Give a like for Shiro and we'll see you again. If you want to uh, request anything, leave a comment down below. If you want to follow some links, they're all down below. Come back again next time. Thanks a lot.